Hi, welcome back to my channel and thank you for stopping by. My name is Mitsuko. Today I'm reviewing Fashion Fair. Now, I purchased all the products on Sephora. I was on Instagram and I saw it on Coco Swatches that um, Fashion Fair would be available in Sephora. And as soon as I saw that, I went on Sephora Canada and I purchased my products. Now, I have the cream foundation, I have the loose setting powder, and I have the serum. I wish there was a concealer. I feel like that would complete the look, but I'm sure they're gonna come with one. Starting with the foundation, I have the cream to powder skin foundation on the Sephora website. There are a total of 13 shades, and I have two out of the 13. I have Fine Chestnut and Brown Sugar Babe. So here are the shades. I will open that in a moment. I just wanna give you more information. Now, Fine Chestnut is described as a medium with cool undertone, whereas Brown Sugar Babe is described as a medium with red undertone. I wasn't sure which one was going to match my undertone, so that's why I got both. So we'll see which one worked. So the foundation retails for $37, which I think is a good price point. Um, most foundations are around $30, $40 um, at Sephora. So I feel like it's, you know, it's a good price um, comparing it to the other foundations. It's a cream formula. It is going to give you a natural finish and also it will give you um, medium coverage. It does have turmeric and vitamin C, which helps with um, hyperpigmentation and it brighten your skin tone. And also it is cruelty free and it is vegan. It's not often that you find a foundation that has um, skincare benefits like the turmeric and the vitamin C and it also will give you a nice flawless skin. I don't know what that is exactly, but we'll see. So this is fine chestnut. Okay, so this one is brown sugar babe. And I'll show you a side by side. So this is Brown Sugar Babe. And this is Fine Chestnut. Okay, Brown Sugar Babe, Fine Chestnut. They, they're very similar. They look very similar. They come with a, um, a sponge at the bottom. So it comes with a sponge, um, which I don't think I'll be using because I really like my... <laughs> It's really nice i like the packaging it's very pretty it's very minimalist and so i really like the bottle and i think it's very luxe it's very minimalist like i said um and i really like that on the sephora website it says that it is obviously a liquid formula it's hydrating it has niacinamide it has hyaluronic acid these two are great skincare they have great benefits um, it's also fragrance free and it's cruelty free now for your skin type any skin type can use this um, Priming serum and also um, I don't know if I said it it retails for $37. It is peach tinted um, All skin tones can use it and it, it, it does have a translucent finish. So Can't wait to use this the next one is the set it loose powder So this is what a box looks like you get a total of 16.6 grams the shade that I got is Warm Sunrise. I wanted a shade just to set my um, highlight. Um, so on the Sephora website, this retails for $34. Um, it is a loose powder formula. It will give you a light coverage. It is fragrance-free, cruelty-free, matte finish, and it is vegan. All these products are vegan. Um, being vegan, they're obviously cruelty-free um, and fragrance-free, which is great. So the shade that I got is Warm Sunrise. So it is described as a banana shade. It will brighten. Um, it's a brightening powder for all um, skin tones, which is good. So that's what I was looking for because I was either considering this one or the um, Truly Tawny, but I wasn't, I just, I was worried that it would be too dark. So that's what I went with this one based on the description. So. We'll put all of these to the test and see how they look like on my skin. Starting with the foundation, um, let's see how fine chestnut looks like. I just want to test it first on the side of my face just to see. And I'll use my finger for this. So I'll just put it right here. Okay, that one's melting into my skin. It's a little bit warm, but I think I, think I can make that one work. Let's see, so the next one is um, Brown Sugar Babe. Let's see how this one looks like. Yeah, I think Brown Sugar Babe is the one for me. 
You can't even tell I have it. Yeah, I'll go with um, brown sugar base. So I'll get rid of this, come back. Going to use a primer. So this is a pump and a half. And then I'll distribute that all over. Yeah, it feels nice on the skin, like I said, so should be good. Um, so I'm gonna go with Brown Sugar Babe. I'll try their, um, the little sponge that it came with, just to see. But I'd probably use my own brush eventually because I really like my brush, but let's see. So this much. Wow, okay, let's see. Not bad. It looks like I have nothing on. Okay, let's. I just want to use my brush because I'm not crazy about the sponge. This. It feels like I have nothing on my skin, which is amazing. Like I, I don't feel like I'm applying anything. Like it's not heavy. If I'm comparing it to the Kevin O'Quan, which I know is like not comparable because they're very different, but. Um, whenever I apply the Kevin Kwan, I feel like it's, I can feel it on the skin. It feels very thick. It feels like heavy, but this feels like nothing. Um, and it looks like my skin. So I'll just put half, only just on half of my face so we can see the difference. But it looks good. It looks really good. It's very light. I'm loving it so far. This is the half. I think I'll put a little bit more here. Let's see if it's buildable. Buildable. I think it is. Yeah, it's giving me really natural. Like, I don't, like they said, this is a medium. So if you're looking for full coverage, um, I don't think this is going to give you full, but for me, this is good. So this is the other half. I like it so far. I wish it was a little bit more olive, but, um, it doesn't bring out the texture that I naturally just have on my skin. I feel like it looks good. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit more on this side just because, just to even out. I feel like I put more on the other. Again, it doesn't come with um, a concealer, so I am going to use one that I have. I'm just going to do my usual, so I'm putting the um, Born This Way. I mean, it looks good, no? It looks exactly the same. a little bit here and I'm just doing my usual just to see how it sets so I'm happy with um, with it so far I feel like it looks really nice so I'm going to try the setting powder oh this is a really nice shade um, let's see if I can compare it to I feel like it's really close to the um, let me put a little bit this one is fashion fair and then the other is Laura Mercier so the Laura Mercier looks um, a little bit more yellow than the fashion fair but that's okay um, we're here to see if it looks good and I usually don't bake I just like to set so that's what I'm gonna do oh, I put too much It is setting, setting. Oh my God, it really set. 
Okay, let's see if I can just, I'm gonna get rid of all of this. Okay, this is very bright. This is brighter than I usually go for. Um, I'm gonna have to tone it down. Yeah, cause this is hella bright. But it did the job, I mean, it did set. I just put too much of it. And I'm just dusting it off. Yeah, it's pretty, it's really pretty. So I am going to finish the rest of my face and then come back. So this is the final look. Now I wanted to keep it very simple. So that's why I only have lashes and then I just kept a gloss. And then I also didn't contour. Um, I just put a bronzer and this is typically how I would do my makeup if I'm just on a go and I just want something very simple So I really like how the foundation looks like on my skin um, Again, it still feels like I have nothing on and it did give me the coverage that I was looking for I was not expecting a full coverage given the fact that it is described as a medium coverage um, I don't think it's biddable to a full like you can really try but I think the max it will be is a medium and less so if you want a little bit less just don't apply as much and I think you can get um, enough coverage depending on what you're looking for like you can definitely do the your skin bud better or you can do a little bit more which is a medium coverage which I think um, I'm comfortable with that and I like it um, like I said, it looks good on the skin. Now, I would have to wear it out a little bit longer just to see how it performs. Um, but overall, right now, it looks great. It feels good on the skin. And I really like how all of these products, um, they have, uh, you know, skincare benefits, which is great. Overall, I think um, these products are great. I can't wait for them to come out with a concealer just so I can complete the look and then see um, how everything looks like. Now, what I should have done was gotten the, I should have gotten the foundation stick just to, so I could contour, but always get, I can always get that another time. I feel like this is a really good, um, these are really good products. You should definitely try them if you're interested. Now, don't forget to let me know what you think down below in the comments. Have you tried them before? Are you going to? And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.